Welcome to the React slider tutorial. In this tutorial, I will explain you different examples how to create a slider in React.js. Okay, so these are just a samples for slider to create. This is R to play and here you can add navigation or remove navigation. You can add pagination or these are all clickable. Okay, look at. Okay, this is also I have added loop and uh, R to play. Here you can click this pagination. You can create different example, different uh, you can just move to the uh, so for creating this, we will use the sweeper.js library. You can move to the sweeper react component. Okay, here you will see different uh, properties that you can add. So now let's use it okay to just create these examples. So let's just move to the uh, slider our um, React uh, Visual Studio Code editor. So let's move to the Visual Studio Code editor. Here we have a slider component. Let's uh, first of all create a functional component. So after creating that a slider component, and now let's move to the documentation. So this is the uh, uh, sweeper React component. Okay, the documentation. So let's okay. This is the first example. It says first of all you should import sweeper and sweeper slide. Sweeper is the parent component. A sweeper slide is the slide that you would like to just. Um, create okay the uh, one by one slides okay like let's for example i would like to just copy this okay to import it yeah first of all you need to install sweeper okay just simply npm i sweeper in our npm uh, install sweeper so after inst installing that import sweeper and sweeper slider so let's import that so after importing that now let's use it okay so to use that for that let's okay this is the css okay you should import this css also so after importing the CSS also now you can use that now let's for example this is the first example I will just show to you control C copy that said this let's design that okay this is our first example but uh, instead of using this slider I uh, let's uh, just use the images okay the div area that uh, previously I displayed to you instead of this I will use image for the image, I will just copy the path of JSON placeholder. Come here to the JSON placeholder, JSON, and API that is an API, JSON placeholder, remote size, image. Hi. So, how you can use that? Just come here and I'll go. simply i will just come here and i will just copy the path yeah use the placeholder not json placeholder just use placeholder.com slash specify the size of the image or the area that you want to specify for example the width is 800 and the height is 300 so now um, after creating this let's wrap this through a div element to bring it to the center also i will just show you okay don't worry just a minute with me Tailwind CSS classes that I have used. So let's copy this. Okay, I will place it in the second uh, slide also instead of this. Our third one. Okay, for displaying just a simple text, I will display that area. Okay, the div element, the image. Okay, now let's check it. Okay, come here. So let's just import this slider instead of sweeper inside app.gsx let's come here yes yeah, slider so after importing slider let's save that and let's check it now so look at we have just this it means that we have three slider at one row so let's now just make it yeah we would like to display just one per component okay just one save that and let's check it now so look at we have just displayed one and we can just go through that but the loop is off okay we cannot it means the loop is false the loop property is false by default so now let's add pagination to this okay so to add pagination for that you need to import the modules okay just come here to the compo to the documentation here it says if you would like to use these uh, modules like navigation pagination in other these are the modules so you should import that okay like for example like this okay let's import that import that okay so i would like to just use the 
pagination and navigation in these examples so now whenever you imported the pagination now we will use that in the sweeper property also here we can use that okay so how we can use that just simply come here look at modules we will use that like this paste this and instead of this let's remove all these we will just leave the pagination because in this example we are using just pagination so after writing this now you should import the css also so for importing the css for the pagination just come here to the pagination css uh, yeah this is sweeper slash css slash pagination let's import that like that okay so after importing that now you can see the pagination on your uh yeah let's refresh that uh, i think we did, i didn't add the pagination let's add that yeah just so if you want to add clickable true okay whenever you click that you want to move to that slide so for that you simply add the clickable property true that means that whenever you click the pagination so you can move to that slide okay like this clickable is true so this was the pagination okay if you would like to add navigation so for that i will create another example where i will display three slides per row and then i will add that okay I will also i will add the loop to that just come here uh, r to play yeah i should import r to play also because in second example i will use r to play and navigation let's create a second example so for the second example let's copy the same code but i will just change these properties because that is same thing copy this i set here just instead of this Let's remove this. I will just leave this image. Okay, we don't need that. Okay. Copy that. Now just come here. Space between that is, for example, 10 or we can make it 20. Space between these slides. And modules, I would like to use navigation and R to play. That's it. And here, slides per view. We would like to display three per view. Three slides. Pagination. Yeah, I don't want to use the pagination. And here, it means that these two properties mean on slide change. Whenever you change slides, so here you can just add whatever you want. You can call a function or you can just console. Also, on sweeper, whenever you move your mouse, so you can also just call a function. So I will remove these two properties. And here let's use navigation simply write navigation we can just apply the navigation let's first of all check the navigation so look at these are the navigation okay that you can see you can move but let's add the loop property also so by default it will just um add to play okay it means right now we can't move to the end it means loop is false so let's add loop property Save that so now let's move okay we can go through all properties on it on that slides uh now let's add the r to play okay so we have imported the r to play module for the r to play first of all let's add the css state of pagination r to play see now let's use that we have added that and come here to the r to play So to the r to play i can add the delay okay how many seconds it should delay for example uh, two uh, two thousand it means two millisecond refresh that now let's wait for that so r to play is just turned on but that's how you can design you can just use other properties of this okay it has uh, it is a very popular library to use for sliding okay it is fully responsive also you get that but responsive also so it has a lot of features that you can use okay this sweeper so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel like this video and comment down thanks for watching